first of all thanks for being part of this video in this video we are going to see time and work class 2 if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get instant notification about my videos in previous class we have learned about the concept of PhD and if A can do a piece of work in X days B can do a piece of work in Y days then combiningly both A and B can do the work in X Y by X plus Y days and if A can do a work in X days A and B together can do a work in Y days then B alone can do the work in X Y by X minus Y days yesterday in previous class we have learned these topics in today's class we are going to see three people A, B and C A can do a work in X days B can do a work in Y days C can do a work in Z days then combiningly all together A plus B plus C together can do the whole work in X into Y into Z divided by XY plus YZ plus ZX is the answer this okay this is the formula and uh, there is one more formula about uh, if uh, there is A and B can do a piece of work in X days B and C together can do a piece of work in Y days C and A together can do a piece of work in Z days okay these are in days then total a plus b plus c can do the whole work in 2 x y z by x y plus y z plus z x so what is the change between these two formulas is nothing but this one and these okay so let's see the questions a can do a piece of work in 5 days so a can complete your work in five days and b can do it in six days if c can do it in 12 days c in 12 days then how long will they take to complete the work all together so a plus b plus c formula will be a into b into c so 5 into 6 into 12 divided by x y by six times 30 plus yz 612 times 72 plus xz 512 times 60 so totally we get 5 into 6 into 12 divided by this will be 2 at the end 10 16 16 162 so 2 81 times 2 3 times 3 27 times 4 3 4 times and 3 9 times so we get 20 divided by 9 which is 9 2 times 18 and 2 by 9 is the answer for our question instead of writing this basic method we are going to do with LCM method 5 6 and 12 the LCM for these are 60 12 5 times 6 10 times 5 12 times okay these are the efficiencies this is total these are the efficiencies so what we need to find is all together so for all 12 plus 10 plus 5 we get 22 27 27 units will be completed by all the three we need to complete 60 units 27 2 times will be 54 54 means we left with 6 by 27 3 2 times 3 9 times so what we get is the same 2 2 by 9 so which one is better i feel lcm method is better for this one okay there are two methods first we do basic formula method now we do with the lcm method next let's see this question a and b can do a piece of work in 12 days so a and b in 12 days b and c in 15 days C and A together in 20 days. How long will it be take to complete the work all together? Okay, all together means A plus B plus C. So, 
a plus b plus c will be formula uh, is 2 into 12, 5, 12 into 15 into 20 divided by 12 15 times will be 180 plus 15 20 times will be 300 plus 12 20 times 2 4 0 now what we have is 2 into 12 into 15 into 20 divided by this will be 2 0 5 plus 2 720 12 60 times 2 30 times 3 5 times 5 2 times will be 10 so answer will be 10 okay so we got 10 days for a plus b plus c okay now there is another question asked here is how long would it take separately to do the same work so asking about a alone b alone and c alone we have a plus b is 12 here we have a plus b plus c is 10 by using these two we can find the value of c a plus b value is 12 and this is 10 means we do 12 into 10 divided by difference between these two will be 2 2 6 times so answer will be 60 for this one in this case we have b plus c and we have a plus b plus c from this we can get the value of a so for the value of a we will do 15 into 10 divided by difference between these two will be 5 5 3 times so answer will be 30 a can do it in 30 days next from c and a 20 days a plus b plus c in 10 days from these two we can get the value of b how we do is 20 into 10 divided by difference between them 10 so answer will be 20 so individually they can complete the work in a can do in, th in 30 days b in 20 days c in 60 days so this is the solution for our puzzle for our question now we are going to see some more questions a and b can finish a piece of work in 30 days b and c in 40 days c and a in 60 days how long will it take to finish it together so a plus b plus c together is uh, these are in a plus b so we write 2 into 30 into 40 into 60 divided by 30 into 40 12 double zero plus 40 into 60 2 4 double zero plus 30 into 60 1 8 double zero so we left with 2 into 30 into 40 into 60 divided by these are uh, this will be 3 triple zero 5 4 double zero 5 4 double zero so double zeros are cancelled 6 10 times 6 9 times 3 3 times so we left with 2 4 times 8 8 10 times 80 80 divided by 3 so 3 2 times 6 20 means 6 times 18 2 by 3 so answer will be 26 2 by 3 is our answer option a is answer next fourth question a can do a piece of work in 5 days b in 4 days a b c together in 2 days so a plus b plus c in 2 days in what time would c do it alone asking about c uh, we have two methods uh, formula method and basic lcm method i will prefer to do this with the lcm method 5 4 2 we will take the lcm of 20 2 10 times 4 5 times 5 4 times we have 4 plus 5 9 9 becomes 10 so it must be 1 so c can do it in 20 days answer will be option b 20 days 
let's see with the formula uh, a plus b we need to find a plus b first a plus b will be 5 into 4 divided by 5 plus 4 9 will be 20 by 9 so we got 20 by 9 a plus b plus c value is 2 so to find c well uh, what we do is 20 by 9 into 2 divided by difference between these two which will be 20 divided by 9 minus 2 18 by 9 so this 9 and this 9 cancels what we left is 40 divided by 2 which will be 20 so so it is better to calculate with the LCM method in this type of questions rather than formula method now let's practice some questions first question 15 men can do a piece of work in 6 days ok 15 men 6 days how many men are needed to complete the work in 3 days how many men x men in 3 days so 3 2 times m m cancels so we left with uh, x equals to 30 so answer will be 30 option a is our answer let's see second question 20 men can cut 30 trees in 4 hours so 20 men 4 hours work is 30 if 4 men leaves the job initially it is 20 now it is 16 how many trees will be cut in 6 hours so asked about x value how many trees Mm. For 4 times 4 5 times 5 6 times so we left with x value equals to 6 into 6 36 so 36 trees answer b next b can do a piece of work in 6 hours so b in 6 hours b and c can do in 4 hours so from this we can calculate c value c value is 6 into 4 divided by difference between these two which will be 2 2 2 times so c value is 12 hours okay and a b c can do it in 2 2 third hours so total a plus b plus c can complete the whole work in 3 2 times 6 6 plus 2 8 by 3 hours okay then in how many hours can a and b do it so asking about a and b together we have b but don't have a we have a plus b plus c and b plus c from these two we can get a value how we get is first we do multiplication for these two 8 by 3 into 4 divided by difference between these two 8 by 3 difference of 4 we get 8 by 3 into 4 divided by uh, 3 4 times 12 12 minus 8 will be 4 divided by 3 thus that 3 comes on the numerator 3 and 3 cancel 4 and 4 cancel we left with 8 8 days 8 hours 8 hours is for a so we got a here what the question asked is a plus b here we have a value is 8 b value is 6 so total a plus b is equals to 8 into 6 divided by uh, this will be sum of these two 14 2 4 times 2 7 times answer will be 24 by 7 which means 7 3 times 21 and 3 7 answer will be 3 3 7 option a is our answer next we are going to see fourth question fourth question a can do a piece of work in six days b can take six eight days now c takes as long as a and b so c takes as long as a and b we already calculated a and b of 6 and 8 which we got is 24 by 7 so a and b value will be 24 by 7 now 24 by 7 is same for 
see also let's see what is asked how long will it take b and c to complete the whole work b is 8 c is 24 by 7 so totally b and c together is 8 into 24 by 7 whole divided by 8 plus 24 by 7 7 8 times 56 56 plus 24 which will be 8 into 24 by 7 whole divided by 80 divided by 7 7 and 7 cancels 8 10 times therefore we left with 24 by 10 so answer will be 2 4 by 10 means 2 2 by 5 is the answer so that's all for today for the, the upcoming session we are going to see the advanced level questions in the topic called time and work so please don't forget to watch the upcoming classes also if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get instant notification about the videos i am uploading thanks for watching